Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Hunt Showdown episode. Well, there is not much to say about this particular video if you saw my last run, so I'm gonna make this short. I got so hooked on hunting without weapons that I did it again. Enjoy! I started so many times at Blanchett Graves, I don't know what to tell you about this place anymore. You have a high chance of encountering other people, there are always two clues here. The zombies don't give a rat's ass about suiting up for church, and the church itself looks pretty nice. Other than that, I'm just trying to survive and not make any sound, because I cannot afford to combat more than one zombie at a time. And it seems like I'm alone again, just like in the last match. So I don't waste any time and proceed to the clues. The faster I can get away from here, the better. One negative point though. I am not in the zone anymore, and if I want more clues, I likely have to wade through a portion of the swamp. This could get ugly. By the way, I thought about a new game mode, and I want to know what you think about the idea. It's called the Drunken Fist mode. Hunters straight up forgot to bring their weapon because they're so drunk. And in order to stay alive, you need to find bottles of whiskey. Once you sober up, you die, because you realize what hell you put yourself into. Killing zombies brings you points, I don't know what they will be good for, but why not? And of course you can KO other players and steal their booze. The last one alive wins. But back to the game. More shots coming from my left. Seems like I was the only one who started west, which I am thankful for. It gives me time to adjust and see these guys coming. Somebody was already here. And that hive scream in front of me means I will not be alone when I arrive at Cypress Huts. Things are about to get interesting. And of course, there's someone on the roof. Now I know where his partner is too. He set up a trap in the hut there. I have the beast face trait. I should be able to sneak past. I'm a little surprised myself here. I am right under the nose and they didn't notice me yet. Watch out for traps. Oh. 
there's also a lot going on at the ranch next to us. Good. Thin out the competition for me. Seems like they get ready to take on the butcher. Now let's see how good their defenses really are. to find another way in. I just hope they didn't hear that. Both of them seem to be in there, and the only way to get in is a slide door. Let's hope they won't notice the sound when I open it up. The butcher screams might even help me with this. Somebody died just outside the building, but I don't think it was the partner. And besides, I have another problem now. How do I kill the butcher? I guess I could use the rest of the wires, but that's not gonna be easy. It worked. Don't ruin this moment by saying barely. I am probably the first guy in Hunt history to punch a boss to death. You can't take this from me. And of course, the surviving team from the Davant Ranch is here. Not only do I have to deal with one surviving, soon to be solo guy, but also at least one team that lurks around somewhere.
One guy down southeast and the partner up in that hut. If I go to the exit point south, I will run into an ambush. And if I try to flee, the now solo guy will see it and open fire. I can't take down any of those parties. I don't have the element of surprise anymore. I need a moment to think about this. This door is obviously off limits, the solo player is directly behind it and he has the height advantage. Going out there is suicide. I can't go out the back either, people would just catch up to me and kill me. So the only exit I have left is the metal door. Okay, first step, get out, go right to get as much cover as possible from the solo. And then make a sharp left and use the swamp to get away. Last stretch. And nobody's following me. Oh, this is wonderful. They're battling for the remaining bounty instead of chasing me. Yep, I guess this is it. Alright guys, that's it for this episode. As always, I hope you had fun and will join me in my next video. And now, if you'll excuse me, there's still some Call of Cthulhu left to play? I received some messages that want me to complete this game for you, so get ready for more content on that. See ya!